Okay, so let's look at logarithms as inverses to exponentials. Uh, namely, if you have a function f of x equals b to the x, you have an exponential function when you have some base to the x -th power. Then the inverse of this function, f inverse of x, is the log base b of x. So a concrete example is, you know, if you have f of x equals to 2 to the x, then f inverse of x is log base 2 of x. Now, they get increasingly more complicated than this, so let's, let's take a look at, at one that's maybe a little more challenging. How about uh, find the inverse of f of x if f of x is 3 times x minus 1 plus 2. Um, so here you have, you have y equals 3 to the x minus 1 plus 2, and to find the inverse of, of any function, you switch the x and the y. You interchange the x and the y. So do that first. You have x equals 3 to the y minus 1 plus 2. And we're going to try to get y by itself. So the next step would be to subtract 2 from both sides. If you subtract 2 from both sides, then you have x minus 2 is equal to 3 to the y minus 1. Now how am I going to get y out of the exponent there? Uh, the trick is to uh, introduce a logarithm and specifically log base 3. So if you take the log base 3 of 3 to the y minus 1, you just get y minus 1. So take the log base 3 of both sides. So take the log base 3 of this whole thing. Log base 3 of x minus 2, that's in parentheses. It's not just the log base 3 of x. It's the log base 3 of x minus 2, so make sure you put parentheses around that quantity. This equals to the log base 3 of 3 to the y minus 1. Now, the log base 3 of 3 to the y minus 1 is simply y minus 1. So y minus 1 is equal to the log base 3 of x minus 2. And then to get y by itself, you just add 1 to both sides. So you have y equals the log base 3 of x minus 2 plus 1. And you can call this f inverse. So f inverse of x is the log base 3 of the quantity x minus 2 plus 1. 